The crime in Uvel is too high, uh, especially in Rocky Rang Street. That's where uh, some community members they commit crime. And but if you look at the statistics in Uvel Police Station. Uh, Zimbabwe and Nigeria, uh, they are the, the, the most close, if I may say. But it's not only them, even South Africans. Even South Africans, they are working with syndicates. And in police station, there are some police officers who are involved with that. Not all police officers. Not all police officers, but some. So uh, I think that's... And these properties that are hijacked are used by uh, criminals to hide themselves in. And when we are trying to fight crime, uh, we are attacked by the same people who, which are uh, community members because they are working with these criminals. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> Yes, <laughs> Maybe after five, six hours, and the justice system is very useless. It's very useless to, to, to arrest someone, to, uh, to report someone in police. Uh, tomorrow the person is out. So we don't know actually what they say when you because you it's, it's a center of crime. There are some guys from uh, Tembisa, from Kapirom, from Soweto, from Alexander. They operate in Uven. They spread the syndicate in Johannesburg. They come in the morning, yeah? they operate here, yeah? and then later on they go back. I once uh, uh, confronted one guy from Tembisa and asked him why at all these areas they come to Uven. The, the, the answer was, Uven, there is no police. Mm. You can see even in Hebrew, they don't practice all these things. You can go to Gantekon, they don't practice all this nonsense. Mm. But here, you, they come from those areas and, and practice those things. So I think our police must strategize how to arrest these people.